Good morning, everybody. It's time for day two of my 12 days of Christmas Facebook Lives. And I am going to do two projects today with the Gnome for the Holiday stamp set. It's one of my favorites in the catalog, and I've been saving it so that we could do it. Um, well, I originally planned to do Facebook Friday, but now that we're doing 12 days of Facebook Lives, we're gonna do it for two days. I've got four projects for you. Good morning, everybody. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna make sure I've got you guys. Um, I'm going early today because I have carpet cleaners coming today and they are supposed to come between 11 and 12. Normally, you would expect them around noon, right? Because they're never early. But I know that because I'm doing a Facebook Live, they're gonna show up early. <laughs> I just know it's gonna happen. And if that happens, I may have to turn it off and then I'll just continue when they leave. So you guys put on your patience caps with me today and hopefully we'll get through it. So I thought if I'd start a few minutes early, maybe I can get done by 1030 and surely they won't be any earlier than that. We'll see. Good morning, hi Patty, it's so good to see you guys. I hope you've gone over and checked out the sale today. It's a one day sale. Um, traditionally, this is Black Friday week. I love Black Friday. I love getting up early and shopping and doing all the craziness. Um, but this year, once again, another thing COVID has stolen from us is, you know, good old Facebook Friday. I mean, Black Friday shopping. Um, but there's been sales all week. I don't know about you guys, but I've already done some... Um, <laughs> Patience is putting on her patience cap. Good patience. I think patience always has her patience cap on. Um, there's been some really good sales this week already. I have done some ordering for my kids, for my husband. Um, and today is our turn to shop for our crafty friends and family. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to take a look at the website real quick. And then we'll get started. And I have prizes too for you. Um, if you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, you will see today's post. And um, somebody emailed me yesterday so they couldn't find the link for the prize. It's not real obvious. It's just embedded within the words. It says click here and it's under the video. So once I post the video on my blog, right after we're done, you'll see it in that paragraph under the video, okay? All right, so good morning to all of you. I hope that you are having a good morning so far. Let's see, I'm gonna turn you guys down and around. Um, it is actually a little rainy here. You guys, we have had a significant drought here. I was reading an article last night um, about the drought situation here and apparently it's drought all over the country. Um, South Texas, we have periods of rain and then we have periods of drought and I mean like years so we're like in the middle of one of our drought year you know couple of years usually it has to do with El Nino La Nina all that um, but it's raining today so anyway I was interested last night when I read the article that said many of you are dealing with droughts as well um, it's kind of par for the course here in South Texas, um, we live kind of on the edge of a desert. So, um, <laughs> you know, we're between the desert and the coast. So sometimes we get coastal stuff and sometimes we get desert stuff. So it's crazy. Okay, let's look at the sale today. Um, if you click any of the links on my blog today, they're automatically, they should, let's put should, um, autom automatically linked to today's host code. And um, it's gonna take you to this page. For some reason, I was trying to link it directly to the sale page and it, it just wouldn't do it. So whatever, you guys are smart. You can um, just click on, um, nope, that's not what we want. Go back. When you go right here, it should pop up, shop and save. Oh, come on, there we go. So there is a lot of stuff here. Um, of significance, um, the blends. I love Stampin' Blends, I'm obsessed with them. I think you guys know that. If you want Stampin' Blends, you can get them at 10% off today. Um, they make great stocking stuffers. Um, the other things to note are paper. Now, there's this weird <laughs> exclusion list. It's everything in this catalog, basically, minus 
this stuff. Um, we, and it's a weird list. And I think the list is based on inventory. That's kind of what my gut tells me. You know, whatever we have in low inventory, they're not going to put on the sale. Um, and it's not a whole lot. But, you know, to get the most bang for your buck, the, the bundles, the groupings, the things that cost more, you're going to save more. So like a whole ink pad family is normally $67. Today it's $60.75. Um, so that would be a really good um, thing. I, I bought a few uh, clear blocks. I've been needing a few more. Um, for some reason, mine have disappeared. Um, but I wanted to show you one thing. Let me go up here. One thing you can do, let's see, price high to low. So I always like to see, you know, what's the most expensive thing in the sale? What can I save the most money on? The suites of products, you know, in the catalog where it'll say, use this item number and get everything in this suite. Even those are in here. Um, so you can check them out. So like, um, you know, the flowers for every season, the entire suite is $180 normally. And now it's 162. So that's a pretty significant savings. Um, so go through here, sort. Look, you can get a, a, the block bundle. To me, you're going to get most the most bang for your buck when you spend over $70. That then kind of becomes like free shipping um, because our shipping is 10% after $70. So look through here. There's bundles. The bundles are a great deal also because the bundles are already 10% off. And with the sale they're an additional 10% off. So, whoops, so that's pretty cool. Um, so look through here. Oh, and the Stamparatus, that was the other thing I was gonna tell you. The Stamparatus is included. The cut and emboss machine is not, but the Stamparatus is. And you guys know I love my Stamparatus. So you're saving about $5 on the Stamparatus, okay? Okay, so now let me go back over here so I can see your comments. Um, of course, I'm going to sweeten the deal. Oh, look, I forgot to take this off. Do you guys see this? I ordered this desk pad to take photos with, and it's just like a <laughs> rubber mat. Isn't that cool? It got on Amazon. I forgot to take it off. I don't want to get ink on it, so we'll use my grungy uh, table for that. I bought it to take pictures. Um, in the winter, I have a hard time getting pictures outside, so I'm trying to make a good space for the inside. Okay, anyway, um, okay, so that is today only. Today only. The host code, if you use the host code, I'm going to send you all kinds of free stuff. Um, free snowflake. Um, I have them right here. Free snowflake adhesive back snowflakes if you spend 50. 75 will get you a full pack of rhinestones. I promise they won't look like this. <laughs> they will be a full pack. This is all I have left. Um, a pack of dimensionals. If you get a hundred, if you spend a hundred, hundred twenty-five dollars, you're going to get this Mary Hello host set. I've been collecting these with Stampin' Rewards from Facebook Fridays, so I have some to send to you guys. And um, hundred and fifty. If you get to one hundred fifty, I'm also going to send you a pack of ten cards with ten envelopes, handmade cards. Um, now the deal with the host code. If you don't use the host code and you get to $150, then you get Stampin' Rewards on your own. Now, Stampin' Rewards on $150 is only $15, okay? And what I'm giving you is more than $15. So you have to weigh and decide, do you want the stuff that I'm going to send you or do you want to pick your own stuff um, if, you're, if your order is over $150? Either way, I don't care what you do. You can do however you want it, however you want to do it. Um, just know that... That host code, if it's on there, it's not going to let you have Stampin' Rewards over 150 So you'll have to remove the host code so you can get Stampin' Rewards, but then you don't get the free stuff from me. You choose your free stuff. Free stuff from me, free stuff from Stampin' Up. Either way, I appreciate your order. Uh, either way. It doesn't, doesn't make, uh, matter to me. But you only have, there's only one day, a one-day sale. That's it. So you have to act today. You have to put in your order by 11.50 p.m. Mountain Time. Okay, so Mountain is one hour behind Central, which is right now is, what time is it? I don't even know. 10 here, 10 Central, 9 Mountain. Is that right? So make sure that you get that in, okay? Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to start stamping. Um, but I have a prize for you. We're doing 12 days of Pink Buckaroo Christmas Facebook Lives. We are on day two right here, known for the holidays. And I have prizes every day. What I'm going to do is you'll have a link. Did I link it? 
today. Now I'm suddenly questioning myself. I think I did. Um, <laughs> I better check that. Um, the link um, takes you over. You just enter, answer a couple questions. And then my website populates all that data in like they number you. And so I go over to the random number generator and picked a number. And today it was 77. And number 77 on the list was Wendy Carr. So Wendy, congratulations. I have your mailing address, Wendy. I will get this out to you in the mail in the morning tomorrow. Today, uh, look what I've got. The sweetest time. We just did Facebook Friday with this. So if you would like to win this, go over to my blog, click on that link, enter to win. And, um, I will pick another winner tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay, I think that's it. Hey guys, um, the, the menagerie class that I showed you on Friday, remember this one? It's coming, I promise. I, I, haven't, for, I haven't listed it yet. I'm waiting um, for the PDF to get tweaked and then I will list it, okay, in the next couple of days. So be patient, it's coming, you haven't missed it. I just wanted you guys to know I've had several emails asking me about that. All right, are we ready to stamp? I think so. So today we're doing Gnome for the Holidays and I have to show you a gift I got in the mail. Here's Gnome for the Holidays. Sue, my friend Sue, sent me the cutest thing in the mail. Look at this. I don't know where she got it. It's a garden flag and it has Gnome. And look, it says Gnome for the Holidays. Can you see that? How stinking cute. And she sent this card. So she inspired me to... Um, start making my projects um, with this last week. I love this card. Sue, you're so thoughtful. Sue sends me gifts. She's the one that made me the magnetic um, frame for my dies. She's very thoughtful. So there you go. Donna, I do my own PDFs. I just have someone who proofreads them. Um, she fixes all my mistakes, which is a big job. <laughs> okay, so Sue, thank you. Sue got me started. We're going to make two projects today. The first one is a card. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. I get nervous when I do this because I don't want it to mess up. It's not going to let me zoom in. Oh, there. There we go. Okay. There we go. A little bit more um, because I'm going to do some coloring. This um, card is going to use non-traditional colors. I... <sighs> I can't remember, oh, I saw a challenge um, that showed these colors and I thought it was super cute. So Poppy Parade, um, Balmy Blue, and Magenta Madness. And the cute, adorable little, little gnome girl with a Christmas tree on her hat, or on her head, as a hat, all right? And we're gonna make this little weaving pattern in the back. I actually ended up kind of covering it up but um, we're gonna do that too. All right, so let's do our little little darling here. Let me see, where did I, oh, hello. All right, good morning, everybody. I'm so glad that you've joined me today. I started a little bit early because I have the carpet cleaners coming today and I just know they're gonna show up early. You know, they never show up early except when I don't want them to. All right, here are my, my color palette. So I'm using that, ooh, I grabbed Seaside Spray. We don't want that, we want Balmy Blue. Hold on. We want Balmy Blue. And then I've got Granny Apple, Magenta Madness, Poppy Parade, and Petal Pink, all right? So over on um, my blog today, I've got a supply list for both projects down at the bottom, okay? Um, and it's got, all the projects for both things that we're going to do today and then tomorrow we'll do two more um known for the holidays just because it's so cute how can we just limit it to two we can't we have got to we've got to do more than that okay so let's see we're going to do her dress in balmy blue we'll do her little face in petal pink she's so cute have you guys seen the movie Nomeo and Juliet. And then there's a sequel too. Um, my kids were little when it came out and we watched it a hundred times. It's one of those kid movies that has some adult humor in it, um, which sometimes could be questionable, but this one is, I don't know, it's funny. I just think it's funny. And my husband still quotes that movie um, from time to time. But uh, 
the little gnomes in that movie are so, so, so cute. And the music is good too, always. All right, so I went over it with a coat of light um, granny apple, and I'm gonna put just the dark there underneath where it's overlapping, and then I'm gonna go back and blend that in. All right, all the way up. And, oh, I didn't get a marker for her hair. I need to grab that too. Let's take our Poppy Parade and we're gonna do just a couple of the ornaments in Poppy Parade. And I'm using all the darks here because obviously we're not gonna do any shading with this. Way too tiny for that. All right, there we go. You know what, it looks like I used Poppy Parade up here too for the star. And we will do her cute little holly down here. And Poppy Parade holly berries. You know what, let's take the dark um, petal pink and do little ch rosy cheeks. Isn't she so cute? All right, so now dark crumb cake. I don't think I put that on the list because you can make her have whatever color hair you want. She could be a brunette, she could be a blonde, she could be a redhead. Okay, so we've got that. Now, we're gonna stamp the sentiment, Holly Jolly Everything, in all three colors because I want to use them one color or one word from each color okay so holly jolly everything once you could use your markers to do this and color each word with a marker or you can just do this and clean it on your chamois good morning everybody i'm so glad to see you guys so are you guys those of you that work are you working this week do you have the week off I know my husband is taking tomorrow off, but he definitely had to work yesterday and today. As a teacher, we got the whole week off here, which was awesome. All right, now we're gonna do some kind of a little weave action. And I have three pieces that are three-fourths by five and three that are three-fourths by four, I believe, yeah. And this take, oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. A smudge. All right, we're gonna have to cover that up, but we will, we'll do it, no problem. Um, so, where are my scissors? So we're gonna do a little bit of a weave on these um, pieces. I'm gonna cut each one at an angle, and I'm gonna do them differently. I don't want them all the same. Those of you that get to watch while you work, that's nice. That is nice. That was something definitely we couldn't do while we were teaching. Okay, now I've got a piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna start by just putting a little bit of Tombow on the top. That way I can wiggle them around, get them straight. I'm just putting them about a quarter of an inch apart and then I can move them around. Right now, let's do these three. I think I hear the UPS man. Yep, good thing I put Charlie away today. The UPS man, he must have like a radar like oh eric is alive let's go right now time to deliver okay so now i'm gonna start down here at the bottom and i'm gonna just go under over and under if i can get that to slide down there okay and then i'm gonna put a little bit of glue right here oop i put a lot of glue all right, now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna go over and under and over. 
Okay, a little bit of glue. Oh, Pam, you are a teacher. You get to, isn't it nice? It's so nice when you get to um, have a break and just stay in your pajamas, watch the Today Show, drink your coffee. I know. I remember that feeling when you've been teaching for three, two or three months and you get that first break. It's so nice. All right, this one looks like I need to trim it a little bit. All right, so see how I did that over, under, over, under? And now I can take the glue and just glue these down, make sure that they're straight. Okay, let's trim this one a little bit more. <clears throat> there we go. There we go, a little cute little weave. I think it's cute, what do you guys think? You can do that with any colors, any colors you want. All right, now let's put it on our Whisper White Thick Card Base with dimensionals, of course. Hello, Mary from Montana. Ooh, I bet it's wintry and cold up there where you are and not muggy and rainy like it is here. All right, now I've cut a Magenta Madness heart from the Magenta Madness designer series paper and I'm just going to kind of put it there at an angle. I'm going to take our adorable little gnome which I didn't even I don't think I said I stamped her on a stitched whisper white oval. Um, it's not the largest oval it's the second largest oval and we'll put her over here like this and now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut out one word from each one, okay? I'm just gonna old school it with my scissors. We did that, let's do the holly from the Magenta Madness. Remember when we were young and we would cut out letters from magazines and we would piece them together on something to make a word? That's always what this reminds me of. I know you guys have done that before. At some point in your life, I'm sure you made some kind of message with letters from a magazine. My daughter, uh, my oldest daughter asked me for a magazine um, this last week for an art project and I was like, a uh, magazine? <laughs> I don't think we have any magazines. Times have changed. Times have changed, man. I used to love to get those magazines. All right, Holly Jolly. Everything. Like that. All right, now we gotta cover that up. Let's do that with a magenta madness bow. I think she's the cutest gnome in the in the stamp set. She's definitely the cutest. She's totes adorbs. All right, magenta madness. I'm loving my new little adhesive organizer. I can grab my tools without looking like crazy. All right, so we probably need to, to move that over a little bit. Let's see, can I get it off? I can. All right, we'll put that right there. Let me hide my adhesive. There we go. Ta-da! What do you guys think? Oh, wait, but wait, there's more. How about a few Magenta Madness? enamel dots cute now this doesn't well it has a Christmas tree I don't know what do you guys think if you change the sentiment no it is a Christmas tree it has lights on it it has to be a Christmas card I was thinking it could not you could do it so that it's not but no a Christmas tree is pretty standard for Christmas <laughs> all right there you go what do you guys think if you don't like the colors you can change it to be whatever Christmas colors red and green whichever red and greens you like whatever you want all right so there we go super cute I think okay now I have one more project for you let me clean up my space and this time it's a 3d project I found these Kit Kats at Walmart you guys know I've been on the hunt for 
candy always. And these are, well, I already opened it, but it looks like it's not open. It comes in a six pack. How did I, oh, there we go. And there are six of them and they're full size. They're just a regular Kit Kat with a Santa on it. Nothing terribly special, but it's, you know, it's cute. And my kids love when they get a full size candy. So, you know, let's, it, it's less than a dollar. You know me, anything that's less than a dollar, I'm all about <laughs> for treats. All right, so we're gonna make this cute little um, Kit Kat wallet. Just an easy little book that opens holding your Kit Kat bar inside, okay? And you know what? I don't think I put the measurements on my blog, did I? I'll go back and add those in. I was typing up that blog post last night while I was watching TV. Let's see. And I do not believe I added those, but I have them in my handy dandy notebook. Let's see, let's see. I had to go way back this morning. I was looking for something. Santa Kit Kat. See, I have it. All right, so I'm using Poppy Parade cardstock. I thought Poppy Parade was the closest match for the color of the packaging. All right, so the piece, this piece is four and a, no, four and a fourth by six, and we're gonna score it at two and three fourths and three and a fourth. So it's a half inch thick um, little wallet, okay? So we'll just burnish those lines, and I'm just gonna stick the Kit Kat in like that. Just a little piece of adhesive, and it'll go flat down like that. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that we will put right there where you can say, hello, Merry Christmas, blah, 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 you know, all that. And then we will put a piece of Whisper White. I didn't have these measurements. I can't believe I didn't do that. I'm just thinking about it. I measured all of them yesterday. And then I thought I was gonna add them, but I didn't. Whisper White, trimming the town designer series paper. Don't worry, I'll go back and fix it after we're done. Like that, and then I decided to use Misty Moonlight Ribbon. And we're gonna put that down like this to keep our little wallet closed. Okay, like that. Snip, snip. All right, so now we gotta decorate it. And I wanted to use my stitch rectangle. I felt like that fit pretty well. But then when I pulled out the scalloped rectangle, it's, it's too wide. So I thought, what if we cut this down? It looks like we need to cut down, hmm, I don't know, maybe we'll cut down one, two, three, four scallops and then adhere it behind itself to make it big enough. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go count one, two, three, four scallops. I'm gonna cut it in, down like that. And then I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive back here and I'm gonna put this, I'm just gonna lay it here for size. And then we can adhere this behind itself so that it is a better size to fit our rectangle. There we go, see that? Now it fits. I need to add a little more adhesive. All right, a little sneaky, sneaky trick there to get it to be the right size that we want it to be. All right, we'll let that dry. We'll let that sit over there. Let's stamp our sentiment, which is on my other tray which is hiding under, no, nope, right here. Did I clean this? It looks clean. I don't know, do I, do I dare, do I dare test it? I don't remember if I cleaned it. I'm using the same sentiment. Holly jolly everything in misty moonlight ink. Right there on the bottom of that rectangle. 
and we'll set that aside. Now let's stamp our other gnome. Now, you guys, here's something, here's where you can um, change this project. I'm gonna stamp him and fussy cut him out. If you don't wanna fussy cut him, you can stamp him directly on your stitched um, rectangle. But I wanted to pop him up, so I'm gonna fussy cut him, okay? All right, so let me grab my blends. We're gonna start with Poppy Parade Dark. And I'm gonna do the bow. And then every other stripe. Yeah, sometimes you've gotta do surgery on your die cuts to make them do what you want them to do. And that's what I did with that. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the light, light poppy parade. You have to kind of go slowly because it's small. You don't wanna get out of the lines. I'm gonna leave his beard white. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the dark and put a shadow line under his beard like that. Roll that in. Oh my gosh, a bird is trying to get in my window. That's so weird. He's looking right at me. <laughs> you can't come in here, buddy. Sorry. Why do birds do that? Every year um, in the fall, we have a real tall um, ceiling in our living room that has really tall, tall windows at the top. And every year in the fall, we have birds that smash into those windows over and over and over again. I don't get it. Silly, silly birds. Okay, now I'm gonna do um, balmy blue light. He must be trying to get away from something. He's acting very frantic. And then I'm gonna do dark on the top and the bottom. And you know what I was gonna do? Let me grab my color lifter. If you get your color lifter, you can kind of do like a shine mark right here like that. And we'll make that a little lighter. Okay, now let's just do his cute little nose in petal pink. Karen, hi. Yes, it's snowing where you are. You know what? I put on a long sleeve shirt this morning and jeans, and then I was like sweating. Ugh, so I had to go change. I want I want it to be cold too. Yeah, Lori, the bird sees a reflection of the um the trees. Yeah. This I have right on the other side of my desk is a window, and right on the other side of the window is my front porch with my chairs there. And they, he, they've done this before. They'll come and they just perch there and just stare in like, I guess they're trying to figure out like, how the heck do I get to those trees? But I, it's like he's looking at me. I'm sure that he can see me. I don't know. All right, so I went over his beard with Wink of Stella. And now I'm gonna get my paper snips, which are paper snips in the snip, in the sale today. Does anybody know? I didn't check. I have a feeling they're on the exclusion list. They're so good. All right, so now I'm just going to go around the outside. I'm not even going to get crazy with that holly or that mistletoe that's hanging there. I'm just going to go around it like that. I'll come back and do a little bit more to it. Like that. And all the way around his tiny little hand. So I try to keep a little a white cloud around the edge. And that way you really will only see the black line of the image and not my messy cutting. All right, see that? Okay, now let's put him here. We need some more dimensionals. They're so cute, Heather, aren't they? The gnomes, I know. I love cute.
cutesy stamps. I like cutesy stamps I can color. I think those are my favorite. All right, let's come back to our altered scallop rectangle. And we're gonna sandwich it over the ribbon that we put there. Okay, and then we're gonna put this guy down with more dimensionals. Dimensionals, dimensionals. Ta-da, look at that, isn't he adorbs? These totes adorbs. Now, are the dimensionals, I feel like the dimensionals are in the sale too, right? Stock up, man, stock up. What do you guys think? That's really cute, that's an easy gift, and that's a pretty COVID safe gift, right? They are wrapped, no touching of what's being eaten. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow, same time, with two more Gnome for the Holidays um, projects. Make sure you hop over to my blog and enter in to win the, whatever the prize is today, I lost it. Oh, Sweetest Time Bundle. Um, and I will pick a winner tomorrow. All right, wow, I'm zoomed in. I can't, I can't really see my stuff. <laughs> All right, you guys, don't forget that sale ends tonight, 11.50 p.m. Mountain time, okay? So that would be what? Um, 1.50. No, I don't want to tell you the wrong times. Yeah, 1.50 Eastern, 12.50 Central, 10.50 Pacific. Is that right? So make sure you're in your, in your, you don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait till the last minute, okay? All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow morning. Happy shopping today. Bye.